back 24 or 29 years ago. <clears throat> and by hindsight, of course, were there any mistakes along the way? Were there any things by hindsight that could have been done in a different way or in a better way, as you will see? Well, Mr. Chairman, as long as there are human beings, mistakes are bound to be made. If we did not make mistakes, we'll be God. Could we have done anything different? That is a, that's a very interesting question. It's possible that we could have refused to serve in the military government. It's possible. But what would have been the consequences? What would have been the consequences? All human beings have a rational instinct. And for us, the instinct of survival. We didn't know these men. They had taken power. They had shot people. Were we to say no when the people on the streets were dancing and celebrating? If we had been shot, the people would say, well, you look for it. So our tax was then to engage them and to make sure that we control the situation until we got to elections that they had promised. That was our hope, our desire. Now, the various forces which came in and told things, they will have to explain themselves. But as far as we are concerned, I think we made the right choice. I left the PRC government on July 4th, 1983. By then I felt that I could not continue to endorse what was happening in the name of the people of Liberia. And I took my exit. That we could have done that in 1980. But under the conditions, we probably would have had to leave the country. And furthermore, we had been prepared for changes. We were agitating for some form of change. Democratic change or, if you like, cooperation with those who wanted to transform the society. So when this came about, we said we will walk and see how we can help. On historical hindsight, it's possible that if we, had, if we had been bold, courageous enough, we could have probably held together and said, you have taken over, please go back to the barracks within a month's time. We could have said that. But like I said, you know, this was an issue of political opportunism. There were other forces trying to fill in the vacuum. There were other forces. And it's been revealed gradually by various people of the various forces. So in the midst of the Cold War, in the midst of the Cold War, with our group being branded as rabid socialists and communists, our militants hounded, for us as rational people, there was only one choice. We'll identify with them onto the point where they call for elections or we could disengage with our heads on our shoulders. This we did. This we did. This we did. So at the end of the day, yes, Mr. Chairman, throughout, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Serious mistakes were made. Mistakes of moral cowardice. Mistakes of recklessness. But show me the young man who is not filled with passion. Good gambles and blunder. And I show you a man who has not even started living. So this we did. In terms of mistakes, yeah, it could have been, it could have been different. Mistakes from all sides. Mistakes from all sides. And we hope, we hope the lesson of our tragedy, we hope the lesson of tragedy, would be that we can minimize these mistakes and so that we do not bury our people by this course tomorrow. This is our hope, our wish. We do hope the TRC will help in this direction of pointing out the mistakes so that the younger generation will learn and try to minimize as much, as much as possible the mistakes of the past, both from those who were in the Tui party, from those who were on the outside, and those who were just passive onlookers, who felt that they had no role to play in the unfolding dynamics of our country. 
We do hope everybody become engaged. You're a citizen, a national of Liberia. This is your country. And so, yes, yes.